in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get your own camera profiles for Fujifilm cameras in Luminar Neo. On the top of it, I will show you an additional technique that you can use to get even more control over how much of the camera profile effect you're going to apply to your images. Yes, it's true, I have some great news for all you Fujifilm photographers out there who have been reaching out to me asking about how to get camera profiles for your Fujifilm cameras into Luminar Neo. I've spent a lot of time researching and testing various photo editing software and also the internet to come up with the powerful solution for Fujifilm camera users. In this video, I'm excited to share with you seven traditional camera profiles that you can easily import into Luminar Neo and use them in the Develop RAW tool. The best part is that the camera profiles are not specific to any camera version, so you can use them with any Fujifilm camera. But wait, there is more. I also want to show you another cool method of applying similar camera profiles to your images, which gives you even more control over the strength of the profile. So sit back, relax, and let's dive in. Now the first thing you need to do is to download the camera profiles and elutis. Now to do that, you can simply jump into the description of this video, follow the link there, and download them now. Once you download the folder, you will be able to unzip it and then inside you will find two folders. One called Fuji Camera Profiles and when you open it, you will see the seven camera profiles there. Next to it, you will also find the Fuji LUTs and again, you will see the seven LUTs there. So once you have this ready, then you can return into Luminar Neo and follow me. Okay, so moving into Luminar Neo, where we're gonna start in the catalog module. We have this beautiful image, which I got from my friend Dima, as I personally don't own Fujifilm camera, however, my friend does, and we can use it for this tutorial. So in this first part, we're gonna be working with the camera profiles. And to make this work, you need to make sure that you are using or working with RAW files. As you can see in the information panel here, it was captured with Fujifilm camera and it is a RAW file. Now, once we have the image ready, we can now move it into edit module, where if you're using RAW file, you should be able to see the develop RAW tool. So let's click on it to open it. And here we're gonna be focusing on the camera profile section. Now, once you click on a gray dropdown box, you should be able to see the Luminar default and maybe also the Adobe standard. When you hover over them, you can see that they are a little bit different, but not really that much. So now, how can we add our own camera profiles? Well, what we need to do is to click on the Add Custom DCP or Add Custom Digital Camera Profiles. And when we do that, it will open a new window. In the new window, we need to navigate towards the sample file or the folder you have downloaded. Inside, open the Fuji camera profiles and select all the seven profiles there. Once you have them selected, you can just click on add and that's that. Now we can navigate back to our develop raw tool. Again, click on the gray dropdown box and just like magic, we now have our Fujifilm camera profiles ready. So now when you hover over these profiles, you will see immediately what they do to your image. So just like that, you can go through and see what you prefer. For example, the Fujifilm Velvia looks really cool on this image. Or let's see, maybe even the Pro Negative High, it looks really cool too. Or the Astia looks quite good too. So what you do, you just select one of the profiles, close the camera profile section, and you can continue with your edit. Now in the future, you don't have to add the camera profiles again. All you need to do is to come back into the develop raw tool, open the camera profile tab, and click on the drop-down box 
and the profiles will be here ready for you to use them on any image you want. Now, just before we're going to continue, a quick reminder about our best-selling Luminar Neo Power Bundle. Right now, just for $39, you can get over 986 new elements to power up your favorite Luminar Neo tools. You will get an incredible high-definition skies, overlays, textures, backgrounds, working layers, LUTs, and presets to really transform your images with only few clicks. Now, to get the best possible price, you can follow the link in the description of this video, or you can find out more about it on our website, cleverphotographer.com. Now, moving to the second technique, this is where we're going to use the LUTs to add a similar look as the camera profiles. However, we're going to keep the possibility to adjust the amount or the strength of the camera profile effect on the image. Now, why would you use this? Uh, for example, if you have an image which really doesn't fit any of the camera profiles I showed you earlier, that would be maybe one reason. Or again, just to be a little bit more creative and get even more possibilities with your photos. Now, for this second technique, you don't necessarily need to be working with a raw file. However, if you do, I want to show you exactly the right steps to make sure that this works. So again, we have the same image. Again, it's a raw file. So what we're going to do, we're going to go into the edit module and we're going to start in the develop raw tool. Here, when we open it, the first thing we want to do is to go into the camera profile tab. And here, change the profile from Luminar default into Adobe Standard. The LUTs work better with the Adobe Standard profile. However, if you don't see it, don't worry about it too much. But if you do, then select it here. Then we can close this tab. And with that done, then we can move into the optics where we want to make sure that we have the auto distortion corrections auto fix chromatic aberrations and auto defringe option on. The reason why we're doing it now is that right now we are still working with the raw file. So we want to have the possibility to adjust this before we move out from the develop raw tool. Another thing you want to do is to adjust your sharpness and noise reduction. So the usual, we open both of the tabs. Then we're going to zoom into 100% or closer. And looking at it, I don't see too much noise. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our luminosity slider and bring it up to about 15. And as we working with the landscape, we're going to use the rule of 100. So 100 minus 15 on our noise reduction luminosity slider equals to 85. And that's how much we're going to add into our sharpening slider. Now, I explained this technique on multiple different occasions. If you're still interested on how it works, make sure that you watch my full tutorial available in the corner of the screen now or on our YouTube channel. So again, sharpening and luminosity adjusted. The last thing we want to do is to adjust our masking just to make sure that we only sharpening the areas with the texture, details and edges. So that's sharpness and noise reduction. And that's it for now. We're not going to be adjusting our highlights and shadows, blacks and whites or color. We're going to do that after we apply the LUT. So let's close the develop raw tool and move into the creative section. Here, of course, we are looking for the mood tool. So let's click on it and open it. Then click on a gray drop down box and here click on add custom LUT file. When you do that, again, the window will open and here navigate into the folder where you have the Fuji LUTs. Select them all and then click on add. Just like with the camera profiles, it only takes a few seconds and they are added into the application. So what do you want to do now? First, increase the amount of the LUT effect all the way to 100. And then again, click on the gray drop down box, navigate into the custom LUTs. And now when you hover over the LUTs, you will see the effect they will have on your image. 
Now, as you can see, we are still zoomed in. So let's zoom out and let's go back and again, hover over our LUTs and see what they do. So the Asti, Classic Chrome, Eterna, then the Pro Negative High and Standard, Provia or Velvia. Now, I quite like the Provia or the Velvia. So let's do that. Let's select the Velvia. And when I look at the image, I feel like the effect is a little bit too strong. Well, this is where you can now adjust the amount by simply adjusting the amount slider. So just take it from 100 and bring it down until you get the result you like. Similarly, at the same time, from here, you can also add more contrast or remove contrast, or you can also adjust the saturation in your image by bringing the slider up or down. Once you finish adjusting the LUT and the specific effect applied to your image, then you close the mood tool and then you go and open the develop tool. In the develop tool, now we're going to be adjusting our light, black and whites and color. So the usual, we're going to bring down the highlights just to get some texture back in our sky, then open up the shadows a little bit. Looking at the image, we're going to bring our blacks down just a little bit and add a little bit of whites. With that being done, we can add a little bit of contrast. And actually, let's make sure that we can see our histogram. So to do that, just right click on the image and select histogram. And looking at it, let's just go on the standard one. Everything looks good. Maybe obviously the sky brings lots of highlights there. So let's just bring them down a little bit. And then finally, we're going to go into the color section where we can, of course, adjust our white balance. So what we're going to do, just add a little bit of warmth, just a touch, maybe a little bit of tint, and then we can bring down the saturation again and just bring some of the colors back using the vibrance slider. And that's about it. So let's close the color section, black and whites, light, then we can close the develop tool. And of course, what you would do now, you would basically continue with the edit, just like with any other image, going through the tools available in Luminar Neo and enhancing your photo. So just very quickly, before and after. So the workflow for using the LUTs as your camera profiles is, first, you use the develop pro tool to do your sharpening, noise reduction and lens correction. Then you jump into the mood tool where you apply the camera profile using the LUTs and then you return into develop tool where you adjust the rest of the adjustments like highlights, shadows, black and whites, white balance, saturation and vibrance. And that's it for today. If you have any questions about today's tutorial or Luminar Neo in overall, then make sure that you write them in the comment section under this video. If you did enjoy today's tutorial, then please go ahead and like and share it. And also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our future content. For today, thank you very much for watching and I already can't wait to see you in the next video.